Hi, I'm Claire Kajust, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the SOAR app. The SOAR app is an app our school provides that offers free audiobooks and ebooks to all students. The first thing you want to do is go to your self service, scroll down to the S section because it is alphabetical, and hit install. Mine says reinstall, but yours will say install, so just hit that and continue. Once it's installed, you want to open the SOAR app. After that, you want to click Find My School. Then it will bring you to a list of schools. Our collection is Main Schools Shared Digital Collection. If you don't remember that, right under, it says Gorham High School with our address. So you click This Is My School. From there, select your school. Click the down arrow and it'll bring you to a drop down list. Scroll to the G section and you will see Gorham High School right there. Once clicked, you wanna click sign in using Gorham High School. The SOAR app will ask you to allow things click continue. From there, select your Gorham Schools email account. Your first name, dot last name, at gormschools.org. Enter your password. It'll get you logged in. It'll open up to this page, to your home page. I already have books selected, but yours will be empty and that's okay. You wanna go to Explore, and from here you have access to all the books this wonderful app provides. Now, this has hundreds and hundreds of books, so to narrow it down, you wanna go to the left-hand corner and click Preferences with the little plus arrow. And it brings you to these preferences. The first one is available books. You may have every book available. You may click everything, which means every book is here, even if it's not available, or narrow it down to just available books. That's my preference. You can sort it by, these are the way your books pop up. Default, relevance, popularity, date added, release date, author, and title. I prefer popularity. You can go to format, any books which is all the books, you can narrow it to just audiobooks or just ebooks. Language, you can leave it any, or you can select just English, because most of us are just English speakers. Audience, now for this, if you click just juvenile, it will bring you to picture books and books for younger elementary, so K through five. Us high schoolers can click young adult and general adult, and it'll have those two there, and it'll get rid of the juvenile books, but you can have that any setting preference. Compatibility, you want to unsoar and not Kindle. Then you click apply. As you can see, I have four preferences and it brings me a list of books that are best suited for me. So these are all the books. Now, when you open an ebook, you click borrow. and it automatically opens the book. Now, there's a lot of settings. You can click the chapters in the bottom center and it'll bring you to all the chapters. And it, can also, it would also show the percentages and that we are. So if you read chapter 10, you're 26% through. And it will also show the page numbers. So. You can click the little dash right here and it'll bring it down. And each of these little black lines are chapters, so you can stop reading at chapters. You can click this circle with lines right here and it just makes the book a difference. Makes it present different. So that's page by page versus this, which is double page. You can click the A and this is your font. You can have a white background, 
a tan background, a black background with white font, or a black background with yellow font. You can change the text, the size of your text right here. I prefer it with a white background and medium sized text. You can click the search and you can just search words and quotes within the books. And that is to flag or leave a note. Then when you tap the screen, the close the X will pop up and you can click close book. Now, if you're done reading this book for now, you can go to your shelf and the books will pop up right there. Oh, People We Meet on Vacation is right there. If I wanna start reading it again, I can click open book at the top and it'll bring me right back to where I left off. Now, to return a book, you go to your shelf, you click options. Then you can say open book, renew book, return book, or send to another device. So if you want to renew it, you can click renew, and you cannot renew a book if somebody else is in line. But I want to return this book. So when I'm all done, I click return, and it sends it right back to the SOAR application and takes it off of my shelf. Next, audiobooks. So I can go to Explore and look at Pride and Prejudice right there. So you click borrow, or you can listen to a sample, or put it on a separate list called your wish list, which is books you want to read in the future, but not right now. So you can click borrow, and it opens up the book. It's almost the same features as eBooks, except the, cha the chapters are done by time instead of page number percentage. And right here on the right-hand corner, you have four options. The first one is a time, and this adjusts the speed the person is narrating at. So this is the slowest, is 0.6, fastest, 3x. I prefer mine at 1.10x. Then you can click this nighttime thing. And this is a sleep timer, which means you can set the book for a certain amount of time when you're going to bed. If you want to listen for 15 minutes before bed, set it for 15 and it will automatically turn off your book. And you can go the shortest being off and the longest being 120 minutes. Next, again, is this tab button where you can highlight a book and save, where you can save, your, save or mark your page. Then you can close the book. If you go to the home page and click the, in the right-hand corner, click the three dashes, you get introduced to this dropdown. Here, you can put on dyslexic font and high contrast mode for accessibility settings. And lastly, you can go to me, and here you can track your reading stats. Thir I've opened 30 books. I average four hours for 37 minutes per book, and these are just your personal stats. You can click all time today or custom. You could also win badges and small things. I love this app and use it all the time. I hope you enjoy it as well.